welcome Andre to our lesson and thank you for agreeing to be the lesson of the week right here at Buckeye English. Um, it's fantastic. Thank you. I'm happy to help. Yes, and I think this will be helpful for uh, other students to uh, listen to you and, and uh, learn from, from our lesson today. So thank you very much. So let's get right into it. Tell me about uh, your week. Anything uh, interesting happened for you this week? Oh, uh, I guess nothing, uh, nothing interesting. Mm, common uh, working a week, but uh, yesterday was a very awful day because uh, uh, I was uh, suffered by headache, from headache. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, one day, so it was okay. So you had a tough. yeah, yes. very good. So you could say uh, I had a bad headache, right? Yeah. So I had a uh, a bad uh, headache. You were suffering from a headache. Okay. Uh, very good. Now, uh, one of the things we can say if um, there's been no changes in our week or the routine is the same, you can say, um, oh, it was just the same old, same old, right? Uh, it was just the same old, same old. And what that means is just uh, old, like same old thing, same old thing. We say it, um, we say it twice, actually. So I just want to practice this with you right now. Um, so if I said, hey, Andre, how was your week? Oh, it was just the same old, same old. Very good. That's beautiful American English right here, right here at the beginning. Um, hey, well, what did you take for your headache? Uh, did you take anything, any medicine for yes, your headache? Um, I took medicine. Okay. Uh, I took medicine in the morning. Okay. But uh, it, uh, it helps me, but... Uh, mm, the evening, uh, it, it was uh, headache uh, comes back. Mm, okay. Came back. Yeah, it came back. Okay. Came back. Well, perfect. Well, we're gonna um, uh, we're gonna play this little game called uh, thingamajig. Um, yes. Yeah, strange, so, strange word. Yes, I introduced this uh, word to you. It's from uh, our little Cinderella. Cinderella musical thingamajig. It, it just means, hey, um, you don't know or you don't remember what something's called. So you say, what's that thingamajig called? Um, so let's play this a little bit. What's that thingamajig called? So here's a thingamajig right here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what does this help you do? Like, for example, this little phrase, it helps you what? Uh, to your it egg. helps you. It helps you turn your egg. Bur great, great job. Turn so over. yes, great. So it helps you turn over, or it helps you flip your egg. And what's this called? Some some students might call it a um, little lapata. <laughs> yeah, some kind of shovel. Okay. Do you know what it's called? Um, I don't know. Okay, spatula. <laughs> spatula. Yeah, it's called a spatula. It, 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 it sounds like an um, um, Italian word, spatula. Yeah, a, a little bit. And this it's weird because this T is more like a ch, -ch sound. Spatula. spatula. Yeah. Spatula. So sometime after our lesson, get your spatula out and say, hello, spatula. Uh, <laughs> you know, nice to meet you. Okay, very good. How about this one? Uh, What's that thingamajig called that helps you remove snow from your driveway? Uh, it's snow shovel. Yes, very good. A snow shovel. Very good. How about how about this one? Uh, you're you're B two. You're upper intermediate. You're heading to C one. So here's a C one word for you. These things on our homes or our apartments, uh, they're called uh, gutters. Okay, they're called gutters. Gutters, yep. And so this these... one, white, white tube for uh, for water flowing. Yes. Yes. Is and it this, gutters? Yes, this is a gutter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. This would be a downspout. Um, okay. So 
these thingamajigs hang from the gutters during winter. Um, some, a lot of Ukrainian students like to call them uh, sticks, uh, but we have another we have another word for them: uh, icicles. Nice. Yes, these Ice. thingamaj these thingamajigs are called icicles. Okay. Uh, do you remember eating uh, icicles uh, when you were younger? I guess no. Oh, you I, never... I, I guess I, di I, I didn't. But uh, a lot of my friends uh, like it. Yes. Did any of your friends eat yellow ice sickles? <laughs> it's strange. Yellow ice sickles. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 when icicles uh, became yellow, uh, how do they become yellow? Uh, what? Uh, how do icicles become yellow? Yes. That, that's a question how... for another lesson. We'll talk about that uh, at another lesson. Okay. So <laughs> uh, here we go. And I'll do one more, like, for example, um, you know, sometimes these things are hard to remember what they are, or what they're called. So you could say, hey, what's that thingamajig that hangs from our graduation hat? It is called a tassel. And we have a famous little saying here in the United States, the tassel is worth the hassle. Um, any idea what that would mean? The tassel is worth the hassle. Could you repeat that for me? The tassel is worse the hassle. Okay, good. What do you think that means? Is it idiom? Yeah, so it, it will be helpful to understand what hassle is. And hassle is a pain in the ass, okay? <laughs> Something that is not fun is a hassle. Huh. For example, like all the red tape with... Um, getting a driver's license or getting your passport all that bureaucracy is a hassle ah, mm -hmm. got it. Mm -hmm. uh, what's a russian word you could use for hassle <laughs> let's let's see <laughs> maybe maybe it's uh, it's related to pain in, in s yeah gemoroi yeah, is this it? Cool. Uh, no, it's uh, another word, but uh, the meaning is uh, is the same. Okay, is the same. But do you like this translation for hassle or no? Is it okay? Maybe I don't know, but it's uh, it looks uh, it looks so. It looks okay. Okay, so hassle. So, uh, what do you think this phrase means then? Can you explain this in some other English? The tassel is worth the hassle. Uh, okay, when we um, apply some efforts to get uh, um, get some progress in some uh, actions uh, to get benefit of something. Yeah, especially education, right? Um, all the study, all the, all the homework, all the papers, all the lectures, uh, right? Uh, um, what does it mean, papers? I, no, I know this word, but I, I, I don't understand the meaning in... Like writing papers, like writing uh, your diploma paper. Okay. All the lectures. A lot of times... No, uh, uh, Americans say just papers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, writing papers, the papers you have to do. Um, all That's not fun all the time, is it? Uh, it's fun uh, when that action uh, is ended. After that, it can be fun. Yeah. Fun for when you recall, oh, remember yeah. how it was. Yeah. And so the tassel, graduating, all the work that you have to do it is worth it, right? Uh, worth it means uh, it paid off. Okay, very good. How about uh, one more? What's that thingamajig 
What's that thingamajig called that hangs from the ceiling? It's a big lustra. Uh, or I, chandelier. Uh, chandelier. Yeah. I wanted to pick a chandelier that will be in your home someday, Andre. I heard uh, this word, but I, I don't remember. Yeah. This particular chandelier might be in your home someday. Okay. So, Andre, I want you to remember me. Remember me when you're way at the top that, uh, uh, that we helped you. Uh, okay. How about for you? Can you pick something? And let's play. Um, I want you to practice using this word uh, thingamajig, right? So uh, what you have to do is you have to say, what is that thingamajig called? And then describe it. And I will try to guess it. Thingamajig. Uh, okay. What is that thingamajig? Thingamajig? Uh, that you use uh, to uh, put your uh, <laughs> put your food uh, food in in shoes. Ah, what is that thingamajig called that helps you put your foot in a shoe? Uh, good. Do you know? Do you I know what's called? Okay, uh, it's called a, sh uh, a shoehorn. A shoehorn. Yeah. I I don't know th uh, that word. Uh, in Russian, it's Lopatka. It's it's like um, a small shovel. Yeah, we yeah we call it a shoehorn. Uh, I'll put I'll put this I'll put this into your uh, document. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, you can't think of the name of it, so you just say that thingamajig, right? A uh, shoe uh, horn. Shoe horn. All right. Very good. Okay. Um, all right, well, good. Let's go to uh, our little section of uh, new words um, and or questions about English. Uh, do you have any new words by chance this uh, week? Yes, I, I, I don't have uh, a lot of words, uh, but mm, it's seep. Uh, okay, can you spell it for me? Yes, S-I-P. Okay, sip. 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 Yeah. Very good. And, and uh, I, I love this because this is what we want to do. You bring in new words. Let's check the pronunciation. Let's check the meaning of it. So this is sip. So what does that mean? Uh, it's, uh, mm, it's a small drink. Small drink, yes. Yeah. Small you just drink. take a, basically a taste. Give me some things that we sip in our lives. What are some things that we sip? We can sip on... Sip on mm, coffee. In the yeah. morning. Good job. You sip on coffee. You don't drink coffee, right? Just drink it like water. You kind of sip coffee. What else? Uh, any beverage, I guess. Also uh, champagne. Yeah. Champagne. That's a good one. Champagne. Wine. You usually sip uh, a little uh, glass of wine. That's an awesome little word. Um, I'll highlight that. Something we all should know. Sip. Uh, another one um, is similar to sip. Uh, it's uh, gulp. Oh, okay. It's a big <laughs> drink. Yes, that's awesome. Because that's kind of the opposite of sip when you gulp. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what are some situations when you would gulp down some water? Uh, when weather is dry and hot. I can uh, drink water uh, by gulp. Yes. I, I can gulp the water. Yes, yes. I was, uh, I was, you could say this, I was so thirsty, uh, I gulped, right? I gulped down, right? A gallon or maybe a liter of water, right? I was so thirsty, I gulped down a liter of water. Yeah, that's those are awesome. Anything else? Um, the last one is, is not related to, <laughs> no, to these two words, but it's feces. Uh, can you spell it? Oh, I'm I'm not sure. Did you say feces? 
feet? Yes, I guess you know uh, what I mean. You mean yeah. crap, caca? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, where did you find these words? Uh, <laughs> okay, I, mm, I've I've read uh, mm, a news about uh, uh, Toto manufacturer. Uh, they um, developed new um, new seeds that can uh, analyze your feces. Okay. Uh, and uh, and provide you um, maybe uh, some diet to uh, to make uh, your uh, body state better. So something like that. Yeah, you can make yeah you can make your body healthier, right? Yes. Uh, based on this report. Okay, cool. Uh, and this was an article. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this article. Uh, it was news uh, about uh, some um, exposition, um, maybe design exposition, something like expo mm -hmm. exposition. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember uh, what, what it what it was. Uh, but something like that. Okay, good. And you so read about it? Uh, uh, what uh, uh, different different comp companies uh, can um, uh, manufacture uh, in the near future? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, sweet. Uh, good. Good. You're reading this article in English, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what it takes. Okay. Awesome. Uh, anything else? Uh, another one interesting uh, word I uh, I've never uh, heard it before, uh, but I read it in uh, article that you uh, mentioned in uh, our file. It's mm -hmm. from book uh, from the book about uh, Sally about Sally yes. Sally Salinberg. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, this is uh, its word. Uh, this is. Uh, Mm, I, I suddenly forget it, <laughs> but I, I can, mm -hmm. I, I, I can. So we say, I suddenly, I suddenly forgot. Yeah. You suddenly forgot, forgot. it. Okay. Okay. Yes. So it's done. D O N. Yeah. Don. Yeah. To Don. Yeah. To, to Don. Yes. Don. And uh, uh, to Don your life it's, jackets. Yeah. To put yes, on. It's, it's uh, uh, is it synonym for wear to wear yes to wear to put on and this is what we say you know don your life jackets right um and um so let's see if it's uh one in here uh don your life jackets here yeah uh so yeah it just basically means to put on um Okay, to Don. And there's a little story behind that. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. A little story about to Don your life jackets, but basically means to put it on to wear it. Okay, uh, fantastic work there. That's what it takes, you know, to build this big English cathedral. Uh, you need to build it brick by brick, word by word. And Andre, that's what you're doing. Uh, that's what it takes. Okay. Uh, but uh, there are three words that I still can't um, remember. Okay. So it's consequence. Okay. Yeah. Consequence. Consequence. Yes. yes good. What does that mean? A uh, uh, consequence. Uh, it's. Uh... Consequence. It's a result of uh, some actions or movements yeah a result of some kind of action right you know uh what is that uh, i think it is it the third law of thermal dynamics it's one of the laws that said for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction right um yes. that's talking about consequence right yes. okay good another one at the circumstances Yes, uh, circumstances. Okay, good. Circumstances. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, 
Mm. It's a little bit difficult. Uh -huh. It is a little bit difficult to kind of explain what a circumstance, but uh, we're talking about some kind of condition, right? A fact, some kind of a condition, right? Um, that, um, you know, influences another event, okay? That uh, impacts. Uh, maybe, maybe some conditions that uh, I can't change. Yes, okay. Good. Um, so we have that famous little, um, that famous little line that we use in emails and so, and, and things, um, you know, due to circumstances, right? Due to, what, what would be the next one? Next little phrase here, due to circumstances beyond our control, right? Uh, this is just some standard email language when you have a problem um, due to circumstances beyond our control, we um, will not meet our deadline, right? Uh, so yeah, this is, this is great, circumstances. And the uh, other one, similar word, it's coincidence. Okay, yes, uh, uh, coincidence, right? Yep, is it a sign? Or yes. is it just a coincidence, kind of like some kind of a mathematical possibility, right? Um, we talked about that last week, right? Is it a yes. sign or is it a coincidence? Um, here's the definition over here, some kind of remarkable concurrence of events, right? Um, you know, some kind of chance uh, that something would happen. So this these three words uh, can't give up. These three words, what? Uh, don't want to give up. Yeah, yeah. We want to keep them in your active vocabulary, right? Um, okay, very good. And and here's a here's a more definitions over here. I love to use this right click, right? You right click and you get this whole definition, something like that. Um, you know, maybe, you know, is it talking about fate, right, or destiny? Um, okay, very good, you guys. Fantastic, Andre. That's what it takes. Um, okay, let's move on to uh, our next topic here. Uh, Groundhog Day uh, is uh, February 2nd and uh, kind of a big deal here in the United States. Uh, um, what does it mean, ground? Hog? hog day, yes. Groundhog day. Groundhog day. This is a groundhog right ah. here. You see that little critter? And um, this was February 2nd. And this is this big event and tradition um, next door in Pennsylvania that they have this event where the groundhog predicts the next six weeks of winter. Um, will there be six more weeks or will we have an early spring? And it's Punxsutawney. Uh, Punxsuta Punxsutawney, is, I guess, is the name of the city. But this has made these people famous. I mean, look at this. This is like a real event. I mean, they get dressed up and here's this groundhog and all of these uh, people. Um, uh, do you don't you think that it's a little bit mad? I think it's a little bit crazy, right? Yeah. But, but like I said, this event has put this city on the map. It's made them famous, right? So, you know, people are going to do what makes them popular and famous. Do you by chance have anything like this in Ukraine? Uh, do you have kind of a, a little tradition like this or no? I don't know. Yeah. Really, I don't know. I thought there was something in uh, Kharkov maybe um, – where they had something. But what about this movie, um, uh, Groundhog Day? Have you ever seen that movie, Groundhog Day? Yes, with Bill Murray. Yes. yes. This one. Yes, with Bill Murray. Um, it, it's, a, it's an old movie, but it's a great movie. Uh, have, have you seen it in English? Uh, I haven't. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's good. So we're going to play... Uh, we're going to play this little game called uh, Groundhog Day. And what I'm going to do is show you the Groundhog Day trailer. 
Okay. Okay. And um, you're going to see the words of the, in the subtitles. And if you don't know a word, uh, I would like for you to say, stop. And we will talk about the word. Okay. Um, if the trailer continues and I stop it and I ask you what a word is and you don't know it, uh, I say Groundhog Day and you owe me, you owe me 100 grievna. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 100 grievna. Okay. Cause I, I've got three kids and I need to buy some shoes for my youngest one. So uh, get your credit cards ready. Is it, is it enough for three children? <laughs> one, well, 100 grievna. <laughs> well, I, I'm being nice. I'm being nice. Okay. Hey, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Um, what do you see on your screen? Columbia Pictures. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's play Groundhog Day. It's Groundhog Day! Groundhog time. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. Okay. Stop. I'll stop it here. Um, this might be a new little expression for you, freezing your butts off. Have you ever heard of that before? to freeze your butt off, right? Just means it's really, really cold. Yeah. Um, yes. And this thing about worshiping a rat. Uh, this nice. word, yeah, do you see this Russian word? Uh, is this a good word for worship? I don't know. Worship, it's like uh, battle for war, uh, boat for war. Big oh, okay. Boat. Very worship. interesting. Good job. That is that awesome. Like, yes, it sure does. But that's like this, uh, yeah. uh, warship. Wow, good stuff. Let's bring a, because that's a big difference, isn't it? Uh, let's bring in a warship over here and show a picture of that. Yeah, a warship. That's different than worship. Can you say worship? Worship. Can you say warship? Warship. You, I can tell a difference there, Andre. One more time. Worship. Worship. And we've got a big warship. Warship. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the first one, it's worship a rat. Yes, worship. Yeah. Wor worship but a rat. The yeah. But the second one, it's worship. Yeah, worship at sea. Like you, you, we, got, we have a, a, wor a warship. At sea. Not, not worship, but worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stress is worship. a little different. Wor worship. The stress here definitely is right there. The stress. Worship. Worship. And this is warship. Worship. Well, a warship. We've got a warship, uh, a battle. Well, good job. This just means like praise, honor, right? To, to bow down to worship. Do you think this is an adequate uh, Russian word for that? I guess some, something like that, yes. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. Okay. Um, okay, so they're going to worship this. He does kind of look like a rat, doesn't he? This groundhog. Uh, a little bit. Look at this. Do you guys have these in Ukraine? This a groundhog? I've never seen. Yeah. Uh, but he, he does kind of look like a big rat, doesn't he? Big yeah, so they say worship a rat. Okay, here we go. Weatherman Phil Connors is spending the day in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Phil? Ned! Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling Stop. belly button trick at the high school. Okay. Uh, Puxatawney? Yeah, that once again, uh, Punxsutawney is just the name, uh -huh. name of the city, okay, right? But, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. or they call him, this is the name of the 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 uh groundhog his name is punxatani phil right understand uh, it's just a, it's just a leak in uh, subtitles yes exactly it's a messed up uh subtitle okay very good um but here's something uh whistling uh what does that mean to whistle uh maybe it's 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 uh, it's, it's, it's uh make a sound with uh, with lips yes good job you make a sound uh with your lips and we have a popular little expression here 
uh, to wet your whistle means to get something to drink. If you, you're thirsty and you go, hey, I need to wet my whistle. And it just means to get something to drink. Now, hmm. how are you with whistling? Um, can you whistle? Can you make a sound like? Uh, right? I can do it, but. <laughs> okay. Can, can you do a whistle with your mouth and fingers like this? Uh, I, I can put uh, my fingers <laughs> in mouth, but I, I can it, uh, uh, it, it don't uh, add any. Volume. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Andre, can we make, can we make a little pact? What does a pact mean? A pact. What does that mean? A pact, a pact, an agreement. Ah, okay. Right. Let's make an agreement. Andre, we will learn how to whistle with our fingers before we die. Okay. okay. Let's do it because it just makes us more cool. I mean, if you can do like this and make it louder. Can you show me how to do it? I don't know how to do it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let's make a pact, okay? Let's learn how to do it before we die because we're just going to be a little bit more cool uh, if we can do it. So let's go back to this. He says whistling. Uh, oh, by the way, I've got another question to ask you. I mean, um, you know, my mother-in-law, the wife of my, uh, I'm sorry, the mother of my wife is my mother-in-law and uh, uh, sorry <laughs> yeah. one more time yeah uh, the the mother, mother of, of your wife and yeah. your mother no the the um the mother of my wife is my mother-in-law uh, right it's called mother-in-law uh really yes uh, uh mother i i guess when for example, when my father uh, get married a uh, second time, so uh, that woman is my uh, mother-in-law. Yes. And, yes. and my wife's uh, mother also uh, mother-in-law to me. Yeah, yeah, mother-in-law. Technically, she would be your step-mother-in-law. So your, your father's new wife would actually be called like your step mother-in-law right um your um ah, your, mm. yeah like a step because uh, it's not like a biological right or it's okay. not real um so yeah so your wife's uh your wife's mother is your mother-in-law right yes okay and your wife's father is your what how do you say that in english uh, uh, one more time. Uh, your who? your wife your wife's father. Ah, father-in-law. Yes, there you have father-in-law. Okay, very good. How about your wife's brother? Brother-in-law. Yeah, you're on fire, man. You are on <laughs> English fire right now. Okay, so um, my mother-in-law, when I would whistle in the house, she would say, "Stop." Stop whistling. Uh, she did not want me to whistle, but I'm a happy guy. I like to whistle. What, why did she not want me to whistle in the house? Ah, uh, maybe because uh, there is one, mm, I don't remember this word. Superstition. Yes, superstition. Beautiful. About if you uh, whistling in the house, inside uh, a house, uh, you won't uh, get any money. Okay. Okay. I heard that. You won't lose any money or you'll, uh, I'm sorry, you lose your money. You will lose your money. Now, what about if you take garbage out at night? Mm, the same. You're going to lose? Just... Uh, uh, it's just uh, mm, a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because of it uh, can happen anything. Yeah. Now, do you believe that? If you whistle inside, you're going to lose your money or no? No, I, I don't. You don't believe that? Okay. Um, 
Well, you know, having a mother-in-law is an interesting relationship, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And my mother-in-law and I, we have a beautiful relationship because we speak different languages. Uh, we oh. love each other because we don't understand each other. <laughs> and, and I, I think cool. that's... I think that's kind of a fun thing. Okay, let's go back to uh, our video. A whistling belly button trick. So we know whistling. What about belly button? What is that? Belly button. I don't know. Be belly button. It's it's okay. the button uh, on the belly. Uh, yeah. There it is. That's nice. See, that's called a belly button. Now, do you this, like this one is nice, but not. <laughs> what about this, this one? one? Do you like that one? Oh, God. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay. So, yeah. Do you know how we get a belly button? Uh, yes, I know. Describe it for me. H how it, does that happen? Uh, mm, uh, when we, uh, when we, we are born. Yeah, when we are born. Yeah, when we are b uh, born. So, uh, we, ha we had some... Uh, ugly uh, single the words from uh, from the beginning of the of today lesson uh, from the beginning same old same old no thin oh a thingamajig <laughs> yes there's this thingamajig well this awesome <laughs> job Andre uh, yeah <laughs> But I, I, I don't remember. Okay. This thingamajig, go ahead and say, it. yeah, say it one more time. This, thingamajig. Uh, yeah, this thingamajig is cut by, um, by medical uh, personnel. Yeah. And it's called, uh, can you see your screen? Yes. It's called an umbilical cord. Umbilical cord. Very good. Yeah. So they cut that, right? They cut that and then you, then it's, uh, you create this uh, belly button here. Okay. So, Hey, when you're in the shower tonight, I want you to look down and touch your belly button and say, hello, belly button. Okay. And, <laughs> it, it, and get to know it. Now you have a couple different kinds of belly buttons. You've yes. got that beautiful one. That's called an any, or that's called an Audi. It's called an Audi. Yeah, you've got an any or an Audi, and I guess the innies are uh, considered nice. Okay, all right. So let's go back here. How? What in the world do you think is a whistling belly button trick? How do you think he did that? Because it was at some kind of a talent show, right? Listen here. Oh, talent show. You can see it says there he he performed this at his. What do you think? What do you think he did? I did the vision trick. It's something strange. Yeah, it's something strange, isn't it? Very so, strange. Very strange. So in America, we have this thing called uh, stupid human tricks, right? Uh, um, any any stup stupid uh, action. Something. Well, actually, some kind of talent. It's some kind of talent. Like you know, can you see this? How would you uh, describe? Yeah. How would you describe this? <laughs> uh, try to get uh, nose by this uh, this tongue. Okay, good. Try to touch. Try, try to, to touch, touch your tongue with your nose. Or this girl, she's got some talent. Oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to, to put that uh, uh, something like that. So, how about for you, Andre? Um, do you by chance have any kind of special talent or trick? Yes, I, I I had one talent um, with um, with a glass when I uh, uh, like the girl before with um, glass, but uh, I don't put in uh, my mouth inside my mouth. I uh, put it in uh, two mouths and try to uh, swallow, uh, not swallow, uh, breathe into. Yes, you can breathe in, you can suck in. Okay, good. Yes. And the glass, uh, sounds something like levitate. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. So, so that I, 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 can, I, can put, I can put the glass without my hands. Something like that. Yeah, it's, it sticks to your face, right? Um, 
so what is the process there? The you're creating what? You're creating what? When you I do that, I create a vac vacuum. Be very vacuum. nice, a vacuum. Uh, I, I think that's spelled right. A you, vacuum. Yeah, you creating a vacuum and can stay on your face. I love it. I love it. Let's see it. Can we see it? Did, did, did you do something for exit? Uh, I, no, I'm not that talented. <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of uh, talent. Uh, Andre, I love that. I guess it's, it's, not, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have to think of something. Okay, so there you go. Whistling belly button trick at the high school. Can you see, uh, can you see the trailer, Andre? Yes. Go, bing, bing! But Phil's about to find out he's not just stuck in Puxatawney. Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. He's uh, stuck. Uh, first word uh, from last, uh, yes. Channers. Okay. okay, Connors. Connors, okay. but I, I heard, I've heard Channers, okay. Yeah. So this Dennis. is just yeah. This is just his name, right? Yeah. Um, his name is Phil Connors. His last name. Uh, some other good stuff here. Checking out. What does that mean? If you check out. Um, okay. I uh, I know something, but I need to uh, check it again. No. Yes? When, when you're talking about like a hotel. Um, ah, or different okay. accommodations. Yeah, what does that mean if so, you need to check out? Uh, when I need to uh, go to the uh, reception and put my keys from, from the suit. Oh, yeah, give, you, give your keys to your hotel room, right? Yes, you give your keys back, you get your receipt, uh, so you check out. Okay, very good. Now, this guy, he is stuck in... Punxsutawney. He's reliving this day. And what's his percent He's stuck. So what does that mean to be stuck, Andre? Um, when I stuck somewhere, I can go anywhere else. Yes, you can't move, right? Can't move. You, you can't move. Can you please read all of these different uh, ways we can be stuck? Can you read those? Uh, just read? Yes. Okay. Stuck in Dnipro. Stuck at work. Stuck in the elevator. Stuck in traffic. Stuck on you. Stuck in line. Stuck at home. Stuck at the university. All right. Very good. These are all common places uh, to get stuck. Can you think of one? Uh, oh, one question. Uh, stuck on you, it's... Uh, I, I guess I know it's uh, something like uh, falling in love. Yes, brother. Just in time for Valentine's Day. See, you can write this on your Valentine's Day card to your wife. Hey, baby, I'm really stuck on you, you know? And she'll say, oh, Andre, yes, I really like you. I'm in love with you. Uh, I'm stuck to you. Okay, awesome. Uh, very good. Let's keep rolling here. In Groundhog Day, I'm reliving the same day over and over. Bill, Ned Ryerson. Bang! Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. At first, he was a little anxious. Bill. Okay, what is this uh, word? Yeah, what does this word "anxious" mean? I think we talked about this word. It's ringing. It's ringing a bell. What does that mean? It's a word because I said stop. Oh, okay. This is new for you? Yes. Well, good. You saved yourself uh, 100 grivna. Uh, congratulations. So, uh, nervous. <laughs> Look, you're a little worried. You're worried uh, about something, right? Um, let's mm, see if we can find a good I, Russian word for anxious here. I, I guess I know this word, but uh, in a little bit uh, different uh, form. And, it, it, is this a good Russian word? Is this a good one or no? Anxious. Do you see this Russian? I guess this is, it's it's a good it's it's a good translation. Okay. What are some things that make you anxious?
Uh, maybe when I uh, a lot of time uh, stuck at home. Oh, when and, you're stuck at and home. Can't, uh, and can't can't uh, go out. Yes, very good. That's a good one. Way to go. Anxious. Okay. Makes us nervous, makes us up uptight, worried about something. Okay. All right. Very good. Will you be checking out today, Mr. Collins? I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. But now, we could do whatever we want. <laughs> He's discovering the possibilities. Don't you worry about cholesterol? Why? And living life mm. like there's mm. not. Not stop. <laughs> I, okay. I understand. Uh, it was word uh, cholesterol, but yes. I, I, I know this one. You know that. Well, what are some things we can do to lower our cholesterol? Um, one more time, please. Yes. Uh, yeah. What are some um, behaviors, eating habits that we can do to lower our cholesterol? Uh, maybe don't eat... Uh, a lot of um, deep fry food. Okay, good. Stay away from fried foods. Good. All right, good. Uh, and here's a great little life philosophy, living life like there's no uh, tomorrow. All right, there's uh, a little philosophy right there. Uh, what do you think about that little life philosophy, living life like there's no tomorrow? Maybe uh, 10 years uh, before I live with uh, uh, that, this philosophy. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, mm, I can mm, I forget, forgot the word. Mm -hmm. Let's find it. Let's find it. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I could allow, allow to eat any what I want. You I said want, you, I, allow, you, you allowed yourself? Yes. Uh, allowed to myself. To... Yeah, I allowed myself. You could say this. I allowed myself to eat whatever I wanted. Allow. Yes. Yeah, per, yeah. <laughs> you gave yes, yourself about, permission. About, about the same word, oh, wow. oh, oh, it. Yeah, you let yourself. You let yourself, you allowed yourself to eat whatever you wanted, right? Yes, yes. Uh, so you lived like there was no tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. All right, very good. Let's continue here. No tomorrow. Phil Connors. Ned. Now, what's that called? What did he just do there? Kick them? Okay. Kick him. No, he punched him. He punched Punch. him. Okay. We kick Punch. somebody with our feet, right? So you use your feet to kick. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you... Uh, kick with your feet, but you punch with your. What's this called? If I make this kind of thing with my uh, hand, fist. Great job! You make a fist and you punch. Okay, very good. Because there isn't. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. Okay, uh, stop. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that I know the translation for stabbed. Okay. Let, yeah, and I just want to make sure you know what immortal is. What does that mean, immortal? Uh, it's uh, when I when I uh, can't die. Yeah, you can't die. You live forever. Like remember the Twilight series with Bella and the vampires. <laughs> <laughs> I see you like it. I, yeah, I didn't see it till like ten years after it was made or something like that. Five years. I, I just saw it like three years ago. Uh, but it was good. The vampires. Um, yeah, immortal. Very good. Stabbed. Yes. What is that? That might be a new word, right? Stab. Maybe it's uh, it's hit with with a knife. No. Okay. Very good. Yes. Let's find the right uh, Russian word. Stabbed. Is this good or no? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can stab with a knife. Uh, you can stab with a pencil, right? Um, what about this? If, if um, you say, hey, you stabbed me in the back, what does that mean? If you get stabbed in the back, or you could say, hey, you, you stabbed me in the back. What would that mean? Uh, it's like when you uh, do something uh, not something what isn't uh, uh, isn't fair. Oh, very good. Exact betrayed. Right. Betrayed. This is a popular little idiom. If you get stabbed in the back, that's like some kind of betrayal. Right. Uh, okay. Very good. So there you go. Stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. He did all of those things, and then he still woke up on Groundhog Day, right? Pretty crazy. Hey, if you had to choose one of these uh, as a way to die, Andre, which one would you choose? Oh, I, I, want, to, I want to see mm, uh, I want to see a nuclear uh, a nuclear explosion mushroom explosion, yes. Wow. So you would like to die by nuclear explosion? Yes. Okay, not bad. But, but, but only if uh, um, it uh, happens uh, very quick, quickly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. I'm a god. You're a god. I'm a god. I'm not the god. He's out of his gourd. But to get what his... Okay, this might be new. Stop. He, yes, he says out of his gourd. gourd. Yes, here's what a gourd is, right? It's like some kind of uh, vegetable. And so gourd basically means mind, mind. Uh, for example, bored out of my gourd is just like bored out of my mind. Or hmm. if, you, if you say he's uh, out of his gourd, what does that mean? He's lost his what? mind yes he's lost his so, mind he's uh, gone is crazy. It idiom yes it's definitely an idiom uh to say this uh here it is you can see look he's out of his gourd you see that he's out of his gourd yes, just means he's out of good can you read it out loud uh okay he's out of his guard very gourd. good gourd it means gourd. he's lost his mind okay very good heart wants most what are you looking for phil a date for the weekend means living this day over again <laughs> till he gets it right believe it or not i studied 19th century french poetry <laughs> what a waste of time i studied 19th century okay what's that called when she goes like this what's that called slap very good a slap a slap in the face okay a slap in the face um, so it can be physical, but it also can be as a, um, idiom, right. As a metaphor, like, Hey, uh, you slapped me in the face. You did something to hurt me, uh, emotionally. Right. Uh, that was a slap in the face. French poetry. La fille qui you speak French. Oui. Bill Murray, Andy McDowell. To the groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. He might be okay. Yes! Life has a funny way of repeating itself. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. Very good. We, we end it the way we started. Same old, same old. Yes. What did you do today? Oh. Same old, same old. Same old, same old, brother. Uh, same kind of uh, routine, same kind of tasks, same kind of day. Same old, same old. All right. Well, Andre, thank you uh, for being our lesson of the week. Uh, great job. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, too. Yeah, it was really good. So we will see you next week, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Keep studying hard.
Okay, thank you, Andrew. Bye. Bye-bye.